Well, I'm back to my Slide 2 Band of Thieves playthrough as we got two of the free clockwork parts last time out. Now it's time to get the, fi the final one and to finish off this episode with Operation Choo Choo and then we can help to episode 7. Come on, there we go. Off aboard, guys. We've got a train to catch. Ain't amazing how much how much bigger it is in the cinematic. Got it. Strong work, Murray. Yeah, sure. The Murray's strength knows no limit. You're on, Sly. Break into that train and steal the clockwork stomach. That John Bassan's one strange guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts, and he walks away with the stomach and lungs. It still creeps me out. Get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique hand car at breakneck speeds. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. And here we go. As we begin, get some coins first, though. Guys, I'm gonna need to make a whole bunch of cash. I mean, a whole bunch of coins for the next um, episode because those upgrades are going to get very expensive. After all, you saw it took me two damn months to get that many co much coins. So now, I'll just throw this right at you and you'll go kill your guard over there. <laughs> Always cracks me up every time. While you're dead, I'll kill you. Hey, I'm safer here. I'll just let that knock you out and I'll finish you off. There we go. All right. Really good sneak. Oh my god, that's a lot. Hey, I can just sneak under here. Good. Yeah, because I don't think there's any way I could have gone past them. They're way too fast. I'm sure this is a dead end right here. Nope, good. All right. Right here we go. As sneak on over to here. And there's John B. San. Ain't nobody getting past me. That there clockwork stomach is as safe as a snowman in winter. I'd like to meet the varmint that's been looting my iron horse trains. By Jiminy, I get hot neath the collar just thinking about how I cut that boy down. I kill him like a spotted eye. Sure you know it's it's amazing how. It's amazing how Lily walks past John Bisson, but he doesn't see you. Hey Cooper, thought I might find you here. Just can't stay away from these clockwork parts, can you? No, oh, I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping, maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on. Have to call up your little friends for help. Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? I've already launched the RC chopper. She won't know what hit her. Come on, Cooper. Let's play. What in blazes? All right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. And here we go. Gotta take down Neela, who distracted us. And of course, another thing I find a little bit funny too is how the hell is she attacking us? And Johnny San doesn't even know about this! He should honestly be involved in the um, next this episode. But unfortunately he's really not. As I could just keep holding the square button thing, but although I think if I hit it, I mean pressed on it longer, probably um, if I pressed on instead of holding it, it might actually um go quicker. Oh crap, I'm stuck. Yeah, actually, it does go fast if I keep spamming it like that. Get, oh my god, took a hard hit right there. Oh, that was a close one. So I'm just spamming that square button instead because it goes much quicker. Oh my god, those missiles! Oh my god, that was a close one. Uh, uh, oh god, watch out for the bombs! Almost done, but unfortunately, shoot! This is a what? Oh no! Oh no! That was some fancy flying, little friend. 
Whatever you say, Hoodle. I swear, like I said, all three of them go well together, especially their sarcasm. Oh yeah, I gotta watch out for them hawks. And of course, you gotta watch out for the more um, guards up there. And I think one of them actually falls asleep eventually. Hey, perfect. Oh, that was close. Oh, oh, shit, that was close. Gotta be careful for those bottles. That was easy. No coins? How dare you! And sneak a pass of both these guards. Like I said, look at that! I mean, how can they not see me? Oh, oh I'm gonna have to grab on. Whew. And then grab! Whew. And now crawl, crawl underneath the train to the other side. And then grab on! Whew. And then pull back and throw so forth. Probe. Whew. Wait. No! Alright. Alright. Guard gone. Oh! Oh! That was close. Oh shit. Alright! Now! How dare they not have coins in them like they usually do? Fuck! How'd you hear that? It's supposed to be silent! Now this will finish you off. Oh, damn it! It hit the chair and ruined it, man. Or at least you're finally dead. Of course, there's no coins right here, but now, to get the clock, the last clockwork part, or so I fought. Looks like John Bassan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. And that's just what we'll do. A well-placed bomb down the train's smokestack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. Not so fast, Chuck. The clockwork part is mine. They will all be... I see. Neela has not given up yet. Causes me nothing but trouble! Oh, God took a bunch of hits right there! Oh, damn! Now she's hitting from the side, looks like. Oh, now she's going from the darn underneath, so now you gotta attack from the roof. I mean, it bombed down. And of course, you gotta watch out for those bombs, too! Ugh! Be careful though with the hits, can't take any more unfortunately, really. Yeah! Come on, die! Damn it! I gotta do it under here again, come on! Come on, die! Wow, well, it doesn't kill her. At least not yet. Oh! 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 Shoot! Oh my god, I got lucky again! Come on! Boom! got an upset stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Bassan's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops. Which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replaced Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun.
Sooner or later, I'm going to have to figure out a way to clear her name, some way other than turning myself in. Well, with that, three quarters of the game down, as now, just two episodes left, as next time out is episode seven. So, see you guys next time for that.